The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. That means it's right here where we are. The wind is right here where we are. And the wind is right where each and every one of our brothers and sisters on this planet are. The answer is just as easily in Baghdad as it is in Baton Rouge. The answer is just as easy and easy in Dallas as it is in Minnesota. The answer is just as easily in Minnesota as it is in Staten Island. The answer is just as easily in me as it is in you. And so in this moment, I bring my mind, my focus and my attention back on what is true. I know that there is one power, there is one purpose, there is one presence working in all, through all, and as all. In this moment, I choose to call it God. In this moment, I choose to call it source. And I know that source, I know that God is loving. I know that source, I know that God is unconditionally loving. I know that source, I know that God holds no shame, holds no guilt, and no condemnation for its creations. I am knowing that it is everywhere at all times, that it is constantly encountered. I know that this power, I know that this substance, it is where all of my brothers and sisters are, and it is present even down to the time tiniest cell within our being. I know that God is here. I know that love is here. I know that peace is here. I know that this thing can be called by any name and it will recognize me. I know that it can be called by any name and it will recognize you. I know that it can be called by any name and it will be recognized by each and every one of our brothers and sisters. It is not conditioned by names. And as I recognize that this invisible substance can become anything that I desire for it to be, I recognize my oneness with it. I recognize your oneness with it. I recognize the United States oneness with it. I recognize the Earth's oneness with it. I recognize the Milky Way galaxy's oneness with it. I recognize the stars oneness with it. I recognize the skies oneness with it. I recognize the winds oneness with it. I recognize the trees oneness with it. I recognize the birds oneness with it. For I know that as I recognize that oneness, I know that each and every one of us are connected. That is how I know that the word that I speak, it will use any and everything at its disposal to bring forth that which I I desire. And so here and now in this moment, as I know who and what God is, and I know who and what I am, I know that this same truth is the truth for each and every person in this room and within the sound of my voice. And as we are one with this power, as we are one with this presence, as we are one with this good, I now speak good over our planet. In this moment, I call forth my superpower of imagination. And I imagine a world where the headlines are different. I imagine a world where in 2017, a study comes forward and we see that there are now more black male millionaires than there were ever black men that were killed unarmed in this country. I now speak the word and see the headlines within my mind that the newspaper is now reporting that education is free for all. I am now speaking within my mind that the harmony and the peace and the reconciliation that we have sought within this world, within this country for so long is here as a truth and reconciliation commission has been established as a result of what has taken place in this planet and it is now recommending changes, changes that will sweep this nation, changes that will bring forth harmony, changes that will bring forth financial literacy, Changes that will bring forth new homes. Changes that will heal families. I now speak this word using the power of my imagination, knowing that what I think, what I believe, I can receive. I now speak this word knowing that whatever I expect, the universe has the wherewithal to bring it here and place it within my reach. And so I look within my mind's eyes at, at these new headlines. And I see a headline that says that the presidential candidates are demonstrating an, a, a, a new and more powerful uh, place of, of working together. That the presidential candidates at this moment, as things are happening within this planet, as things are happening in our world, they have chosen to come together to speak healing and speak peace, peace and speak unity upon this planet. I reach within my mind's eye and I imagine headlines free health care for all. I speak within my mind's eye and I see that the first class that graduates from having free college move into the workplace with no loans. I 
I now call on the superpower of imagination and imagine that justice, that peace, that healing and equality becomes the order of our day. I imagine in this world that the defense budget is cut by 50%. That's how we pay for the free education. That's how we pay for universal health care. Because there's no longer a need for bombs. Because the U.S. is demonstrating that we do not operate in fear. We recognize that we are safe now. We recognize that we do not have to fear our brothers and sisters. And we come to the table of peace and have a dialogue. I am envisioning and imagining a world where the so-called terrorists apologize. <laughs> no longer do we live in a world where they, they own the bombings and say, yeah, we did that. But we are now in a place in space where they begin to reconcile with their fellow Muslim brothers and sisters and our fellow brothers and sisters around the world. And they begin to promote healing within themselves, recognizing that they were only acting out of fear and they see that they no longer have anything to fear. We call on our collective imagination and imagine the world that we want. And if we are bold enough to imagine it, yes. the universe is bold enough to give it. Yes. And so I release this word with gratitude, expectation, and thanksgiving. I say thank you to the universe now because it is done. I know it is done. I know it is done because as surely as I can think it, it already exists within the mind of God. That is the first manifestation. And so now I polarize myself in this place of love and allow all of my actions to move from that place and it shall be done easily and effortlessly. We release this word now with thanksgiving and together we say amen, amen. Ashe. Ashe. and so it is. So it and is. so it is. Thank you, God.